my GCSE biology is syllabus statement 282 and here we're describing how the responses can be controlled by nerves or by hormonal control. In the first diagram we have a nerve. This example here is a motor nerve and in fact this part of the nerve here shown in orange this part would be embedded in the spine and at this end this would be connected to the effector most likely a muscle the impulse the electrical impulse or the nerve impulse is carried along inside the nerve down this orange structure here from the cell body to this structure here which is known as the synaptic knob where it connects to the muscle so the impulse travels down the structure here and these can be up to a meter long this is a single cell which is shown in orange here and the long structure here is known as the axon in mammals the axon is surrounded by a second kind of cell known as the Schwann cell these contain a great deal of fat and they form what is called a myelin sheath and the effect of this is to increase the speed of nerve conduction so this is one way of linking our coordinator or receptor to an effector. The second way, shown here theoretically, is known as the endocrine system. And this involves what is known as an endocrine gland and this produces a chemical known as a hormone and as you can see here hormones can be protein or steroids there's different kinds and they're produced and manufactured inside what are known as endocrine glands so an example of this would be the adrenal glands the hormone is secreted into the blood this is part of the definition that the hormone travels through the blood so we would be secreting adrenaline from the adrenal glands into the blood this will travel through the bloodstream and will arrive at the organ that it will have an effect on known as the target tissue target tissue or target organ and there it will have an effect now contrasting with the nerve system it is possible that hormones can have multiple targets and they can actually bring about multiple effects to finish off this syllabus statement what we now need to do is to draw a comparison between communication based on nerves and communication based on hormones as an example, the nerve impulses here are fast, whereas hormones are relatively slow. Students should now complete this table for as many factors as they can form.